Hi, I'm Tom Freiburg from Water and Wastewater International Magazine, coming to you from the show floor of Wasser Berlin here in Germany. I'm joined here by Kirsten Meyer, who is from ITT Water and Wastewater. Kirsten, welcome. Welcome, Tom. Um, now, to get the uh, discussion started, um, Wadeco, um, part of ITT, is known in the industry for its high intensity, low pressure UV systems. Um, and here at the show, you're really sort of developing and launching your medium pressure. UV system. Perhaps you can tell us a bit about why and the reasons behind this. Since Vedico started developing the first UV systems more than 30 years ago, we have invented some of the main new technologies in the low pressure high output segment. Nonetheless, we have been also familiar with the medium pressure UV systems. And with this new system, we are following the market needs for space constraints and compact UV systems. Uh, you mentioned the space constraints is a key consideration for uh, waterworks. Uh, what other reasons um, should water managers and water facilities and waterworks uh, think about changing to medium pressure UV? Well, in general, we still recommend our clients to, uh, to install low pressure, high output UV systems since this technology provides the highest energy efficiency. Nonetheless, in cases where we face space constraints and where waterworks do have a footprint issue, medium pressure systems are probably the only systems which can be installed to handle large flow rates. This system, for instance, has only a diameter of 1.2 meters and can handle up to 4,100 cubic meters per hour and therefore it is a good fit and a, an excellent complement to our existing UV drinking water product portfolio. Okay, and you've been pointing a lot of this uh, product here, which is called the uh, Quadron. Perhaps you could talk us a bit more about it and walk us around some of the, the key features. Yes, Tom, I like to. We can, the system is equipped with five powerful Vedico multi-ray lamps each lamp is equipped and monitored by a single sensor, UV sensor, it's a germicidal sensor that monitors continuously the output of the lamps. The lamps are having variable power output so they can be adopted to the needs of the flow rate and the flow conditions. Additionally, we have an automatic chemical free wiping system which continuously cleans the lamps and the sensors and therefore reduces maintenance effort. Also very unique to the system is its shape. It has a square reactor chamber which is beneficial in terms of hydraulic and together with the opticone which we see here at the inlet section it offers unique hydraulic efficiency even with a 90 degree band in front of the inlet section it guarantees straight flow conditions inside the reactor minimizes dead zones and guarantees overall good disinfection performance no matter how the inlet conditions are Okay, thanks uh, Kirsten. And as with any new product, there's a series of piloting and testing and validation. Perhaps you could give us an insight into the validation of the Quadron. Yes, Tom, you're right. Especially if we are talking about municipal wa drinking water works, public health is always an issue and therefore performance proof is very important. We have tested this Quadron system extensively according to the US EPA UV disinfection guidance manual and have sound performance data which allows us to fit that into your waterworks and give you a safe design. Okay, thank you very much. Well, um, we wish you the best of luck for the rest of Wasser Berlin and your continued launch with the Quadron. Thank you very much, Kirsten. Thank you, Tom.